Hello Platinum Roofing, this is Joel from JND SEO and I'm going to show you three ways that you guys could improve your site and actually help beat some of your competition online. And I don't want to waste your time, I don't want to waste mine, so I'm going to make this video as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you do want to hear more information or if you have any questions, feel free. We could set up a quick 5-10 minute phone call and I can answer those for you. If not, no problem. I'm actually going to go ahead and give you a bunch of free tips and strategies so you guys could apply them actually directly to your site. Or if you have someone who does work on that part of your site already, you could go ahead and show them the video as well and it should help them out. All right, so the three things we'll talk about today are content, backlinks, and citations. So the first thing we'll talk about is content. And I'm looking at your home page now. And I just want to see about how many words of content you have on there. Um, let's see, it looks like you guys probably have, I would say, under 400 words of content. Google actually recommends having about 1,500 words, and the reason why is because the more you have, the more information you're putting out there. And I know if you have that much content on your site, you're putting out a lot of information, they're going to rank you higher for it. The other thing you could do, but it's more work, um, is a blog. And blogs accomplish the same goal where people really like reading them. Google actually loves them and ranks them higher. But also, they offer a lot of information out there, tips, strategies, and all of that. And Google will rank sites with blogs higher also. Throughout the video, I'm also going to be showing you Crosby. And the reason why is because if you want to climb the rankings for an area, why not look at one of the companies that's doing it the best? And Crosby's right towards the top of the rankings. So I'm going to show you their site to show you what they're doing and give you guys some ideas as well. So if we look at Crosby, they probably have, you know, less than 600 words of content. So they're really not close to that uh, 1,500 either. Crosby does have a blog, however, which will help them also with Google. Now, the idea of the video would be if you beat them in all three areas that we are to talk about today, you would be able to get ahead of them in the rankings as well. Now, just as an example, I know you guys are all over Georgia and you cover a large part of it, but I just put in Macon for my example. So I've done roofing Macon, Georgia. This is the other reason why you do want a lot of content, because if you have a lot of content, you can put more keywords and keyword phrases in it. The one I've chosen here brings in about 60 people per month will search this one. And uh, it's also what new customers are going to search if they're looking for people on Google in the roofing industry. First thing they're going to find is these ads at the top of the page. And the second thing they're going to see is this map section, also called the Map Packer GMB for Google My Business. Top three companies are going to show up in this preview window. These are all based on citations, and that's just when you get your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site. These are sites like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, just to name a few. Um, and after that, we're going to get to the organic section. We're going to get 10 results showing up here per page. These show up based on the keyword we put in, Roofing Macon, Georgia. And we could rank the results accordingly. So number one goes to Crosby, who we were talking about as our example site. Two goes to the Better Business Bureau, which is a directory. And three is going to go to uh, Chris Moore Roofing. So what I want to do next is I'm going to take your web address, PlatinumRoofingCO.com, plug it into a program I use called Aerist. This just allows me to see how your site's performing currently. First thing I do notice is that you guys have your headers on the page. That's a really good thing because this allows Google to find you a little bit easier. So you've got your business name as well as a few keywords. That's a good thing. Then let's dive into our third topic, which is backlinks. So right now you guys have 28 backlinks. Backlinks are just links that when people click, it's going to redirect them back to your site. They could also be in the form of a button or a picture as well on a site. And referring domains are just websites that you guys have these links on. So right now you've got 28 backlinks on 14 sites. So you've got two per page, of course. Now, the a perfect example of this would be like a Facebook business page, which I know you guys do have a page for Facebook. So your Facebook business page would be your referring domain. And on the Facebook page where it asks for your web address, that would be your backlink. So when someone clicks on that, it's going to put them back to your site. Now, the more websites that point back at your site, it's going to increase your trust rating here for Google. Right now, yours is showing as a 14, and you can kind of see where what percentage that lies on. The higher this trust goes, the more keywords you're going to be able to be found in in searches. So right now, you guys are being found for about 44 keywords. Keywords are what really bring in the organic traffic and visitors to your site. So the 44 you have are bringing about 50 people to your site right now as we speak. And that's per month. 
All right, so let's take a quick look at the keywords. Platinum roofing shows up as your top keyword. 800 actually search you by name right now, probably because you guys do have multiple areas. So you're getting a lot of volume from that. So six uh, is your position. We know that there's 10 results that show up per page. So if you want to be on that first page, you have to be in the top 10. For your own name, you guys are as well. You should be people are looking for you by name and they should be able to find you. So you guys, number six. Now with being number six, you're going to bring in 38 actual visitors to your website from the 800. The percentage does drop from number one, but at number one, you can expect to get between 20 and 37% of the total volume. Now we also wanna bring in new customers. So Meadow Roofing, Warner, Robbins, Georgia, where you guys are based out of, 20 people do search that. You guys number 10 for that, so you're on the bottom of page one. And so that's gonna bring you about half of a visitor of the 20 coming to your site per month. Um, so let's go to, here's another one, Roofing Warner Robbins, Georgia, so 70 people search that. You guys are ranked at number 24, so that's gonna put you on the middle of page three. And we can see 0 0.08 of one people do search, or sorry, that you do get to your website from the 70. We've actually found that 80 to 85% of people do not go to page two. So really all of your visitors right now are coming from Platinum Roofing, this top result. And that's really where you guys are getting all, you're, you're gonna get probably one, maybe every other month or so from Metal Roofing, Warner Robbins. But all of these, you can see that it starts to decrease to a pretty small percentage because you guys just ranked a little further back. But you guys do have some good keywords, it's just a matter of ranking them higher up. Now we're gonna hop over to um, Crosby and we see their headers at the top of the page as well. Um, they actually didn't put their name, but they've got a couple keywords. 168 referring domains or websites pointing back to their website. And they've got about 576 links on those websites that you could click and be redirected back. With a trust of a 33, they've got about 500 keywords they can be found for. That's bringing them about 433 visitors to their site per month. Now, just to give you an idea, 100 visitors typically is gonna bring you about 20 to 30 actual phone calls to your phone number. So depending on what your closing percentages are, on a conservative note, usually that's probably two to four jobs per month depending on how many estimates and jobs landed that equals for you guys. All right, the first one I'm gonna skip is the national term, it's not a preferred one. Um, then we have Crosby Roofing, Macon, Georgia, 100, search it, number one for that, so you're gonna get 31 of the 100. And then I'm gonna to go to this one because it's a pretty good one with it's got Macon Metal Roof, 250, search it, they're number four, so they're gonna get 28 actual visitors of the 250. Then we've got this one here is what we use for our search, 60 people search it, they're number one, so they're getting 21 more of the 60. And you can just see how they, the more you stack up kind of in these top 10, you're gonna just start to add up all of this traffic and that's how you get to a pretty large number. All right, now that you guys do have all the information, you really have three options, right? If you're not looking to grow, happy with how you're doing, um, you know, obviously you don't have to do anything with this. If you have someone who already works on your site but you guys do wanna grow, you know, assuming they do everything that we did talk about, you could definitely show them the video and it could help them out, help you guys out as well. Third option, if you guys don't have anyone that you currently work, that does this work for you, or you, maybe you're not happy with what they're currently doing, you know, definitely I do offer all the services. We could just have a quick phone call. Um, I can answer any questions for you. We could just set up a five or 10 minute call. I will give you guys a call anyway, just to follow up and see if the video was helpful for you. But thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. Have a great day.